Hi, hey, Mama, it's your girl T. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Super Blessed, where I'm going to spill some tea for you guys on how to get your breast milk way up. But before I jump into this list, make sure that you guys subscribe to your girl channel and also hit that like button if this video was very beneficial for you. All right, I'm not the only one, I'm sure, who has suffered with a decrease in supply or some type of issue at the beginning, especially when your breast milk is starting to get established. I have my notes here. I don't want to look like I'm just, mm -hmm, I don't know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing, but I'm going to make sure that I don't miss anything. If your supply is down, you definitely are going to have to pump to get it up. This means pumping whenever the baby is finished nursing. That is going to get your supply up. You don't want to say, okay, my baby's feeding, I'm not going to pump this feed because I have two bottles left on the side. No, pumping either after you get finished nursing, and if you're a person who only pumps, then I will pump every two to three hours. While we're on the subject of pumping, you know I can't forget to mention the power pump. When you're power pumping, that is pumping for a full 20 minutes, taking a 10 minute break, coming back and pump for 10 minutes, taking another 10 minute break, and then coming back to pump for the last 10 minutes, incorporating a whole total of an hour of pumping on and off, and you're demanding that milk. And that's what you have to do, because like you've heard before, your body is a supply and demand. If you're not demanding it, your body will not supply it. Okay? Every time you pump, you want to remove as much milk as you can. A lot of women don't realize that the size of their flange is either too big or too small. You'll probably realize if it's too small because it'll be painful, but if it's too big, you probably will overlook it. I just say that I overlooked having a big flange for about a few months until my breasts had adjusted to the size that they were and my milk flow started to decrease. So I start looking into ways to increase my milk during a pump session. One of the things that fixed it was definitely changing my flange size to making it a little bit smaller. Another thing that you guys can look into is lactation goodies. Things are like cookies and brownies. Also they have drops and supplements all these different things that are filled with lots of ingredients that is known to either enlarge your breast tissue or increase production. They are all around my house <laughs> and they definitely are very helpful. I choose to go towards those things that are five stars and just to name a few that I have, I have this liquid gold. I'm sure you guys have seen this quite often. Lady Leche that is with Milky Mama. I can show you guys how I use this. These are the drops, because it's actually time for me to take them. So it is in something like this. Mm. And you guys let that sit underneath your tongue. It's sugary and it has like a grape flavor. The box is open, so you know your girl has been using them. This is also with Milky Mama. This is their emergency brownies. Packaging is super, super cute. And they've been super, super helpful every single time that I need those. There's so many things that are out there, Walmart and Kroger, even Target, places like that, they have those things available for you. There's teas out there that you can try. Just eating healthy, I know it is so hard, but if you have a diet that is very, very unhealthy, obviously it's not good for your body, so it's not gonna be good for anything that your body is needing to produce. Well, I know it's hard, but there's a lot of things that you guys could try to do to incorporate healthier uh, food choices. Along with making sure that you're eating healthy, it's making sure that you're not skipping 
too many meals a day. I know when I'm on the go, I'll choose to drink one of those supplement drinks, the meal replacement drinks. You can find those at Walmart or in Kroger. The Insures, things like that. You can choose from any of these here and I'm sure they'll be very helpful. Another thing that is scientifically proven to help increase your milk supply is that good old skin to skin. You and baby being flesh to flesh, your shirt off, no bra, your baby down to nothing but a diaper, laying there on your chest. Along with that is the whole nursing vacation. That means being in bed with your baby all day long, just nursing, watching movies if you want, is another useful way on increasing your supply. Along with making sure your diet is good, is also making sure that you are drinking lots and lots of water. Ninety-eight percent of your breast milk, that's a big portion, is water. So if you're not even hydrated enough to take care of your own body, you're not going to be hydrated enough to take care of your breast milk. Ways to make sure that you're getting that water in daily is to either incorporate a pattern that goes along with water. For me, I like to pump slash feed the baby and then right after that, I like to drink some water. One other thing to do is buy a gallon water bottle and you can fill that up with water. You'll have water easily accessible to you all day long. A lot of times that's why we miss our water is because we're not thinking about it. Don't get down on yourself. That's so important. Don't stress yourself out, mamas. It will come. Don't try to have that goal of having that freezer stash right away when you're struggling to just feed baby right now. I know at the beginning I was struggling with like thinking, oh my gosh, I want that freezer stash. But once I got used to thinking like, okay, as long as I can provide for her today and feel comfortable, confident that I have enough milk for tomorrow, I was happy. And I think that that is so important. Being comfortable with where you are and where you can see yourself going. Not what seems to be far from the distance. Enjoy this time. There's some people who don't even get to bear a child to feed. So just be grateful, be thankful, and be able to accept where you are. Okay, mamas? That's all that I have for you guys today. I think all of these things combined together to definitely be able to get you some success with getting your milk supply up. I definitely found that whenever I drank enough water, didn't skip a meal, incorporated a few lactation goodies or supplements, and made sure that I pump, I definitely seen an increase in my supply the very next day. So you wanna make sure that you're doing that. It's so important and you'll not regret it. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And like I say, every time, I hope your life is filled with more blessings and less stressings.